LAP offers a variety of cables for continuous flex movement and those cables are rated in different performance classes. So we rate our cables for a basic performance, a core performance or the extended use which ranges from 2 to 10 million cycles. The cable design is key to continuous flex cables. So it all starts with the stranding of the copper conductor. There you need to find the balance between flexibility and stability because the conductor needs to be as flexible as possible but it should also not break. We usually use an extra fine wire for our continuous flex cables. The insulation material for continuous flex cables should be low adhesive so that the conductors also can move between each other. You need to think about the bending movement that the cable is exposed to. So you will have compression at the inner radius and you will have tension on the outer radius of the bending movement. For continuous flex cables you usually use a tint copper braid which protects the cable from any kind of electromagnetical interference. The jacket material of course is exposed to any kind of abrasion whether it's from the cable track or any kind of environmental conditions. For our extended product line we use polyurethane as a jacket material because it's abrasion resistant and it has superior mechanical characteristics. There are many applications for continuous flex cables. For example, slow moving gantry robots, but also rapid pick and place systems. And our performance classes for continuous flex cables cover all those applications. LAP offers a wide range of continuous flex cables, not only for power and control applications, but also for data transmission along with the relevant connectors and cable glands.